a friends evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I want to implore you, it's not a time to shrink back from your mission. Hallelujah, you cannot draw back, shrink back. The way you can shrink back is by getting distracted. Some people get distracted so easy. You've got to learn the art of being focused in the Lord, hallelujah, and put aside all the distractions. If God is giving you a mission, a purpose, a platform to do exploits, you've got to learn how to stay focused in the Lord and keep your ship light. I'm going to share with you how Paul in the book of Acts came across a storm. And he said, men, if we don't throw some of this cargo overboard, the ship will sink. But before I continue, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button. I need you to do me a favor. I'm raising up a radical cyber army on YouTube. Out of the box. I'm going to be bringing on some of the most powerful five-fold ministers. Many of my pastor friends, some of them pastor churches of 1,500 to 2,500 people in New York, all across the nation. I'm going to be bringing them on live soon, simultaneously, to train, teach, impart, and disciple you in the things of the Lord the right way. One, one of the men is one of the men that discipled me. He was my pastor for 10 years. Dude's powerful. Off the chain. Birthed a church of over a thousand people here in New York after two years, 30 something years ago. He resides in Florida. So I am live every Monday, 9 p.m. But friends, there's an art of being focused. As I told you before, Paul came across a bad storm called Eurocladon. The ship's sinking. The men are freaking out. They're saying, Paul, we're going to throw you overboard. He's probably saying, I want to throw you overboard. You've got to learn to lighten the ship when the storm comes so you can stay light and it doesn't take up too much water. There may be some people along the way that may have to go. And it's I'm not being rude, crude, or harsh, but they're a distraction to you. They're taking you out of your focus and your mission. Allow the Lord to remove them. They can't go where you're going. They don't want to go where you're going. They can't withstand the warfare. Look, I'm not looking to drag people with me into the promised land, scratching and crying. They got to come willingly. Hallelujah. But let me read this to you. It's so powerful. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 50 and verse 7. Jesus is, this is prophetically speaking <clears throat> about before Jesus went to the cross. He needed to put aside all distractions. Anyone that was going to try and dis, dis, divert, divert him and thwart him or stop him. Peter tried to stop him. Peter's saying, you're joking me, right? <clears throat> I quit my business fishing because of you. And now you're telling me you're leaving. And, I, you know, this is not good. So I'm going to hold on to you. And Jesus says, don't do it. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. He didn't call Peter Satan. He was saying this spirit. <clears throat> that was trying to get on people. Excuse me, the power drink. I don't even want to tell you it's in that, but it keeps you strong, hallelujah, and fit. But uh, that's the concoction that champions are made. I'm kidding you. Hallelujah. But Peter, Jesus said, look, you're trying to divert me from my mission, going to the cross, because unless I shed my blood, the new covenant can't be established and instituted. Let me get back to this, Isaiah 51, verse 7, For the Lord God will help me, therefore I will not be disgraced, therefore I have set my face like flint. I want you to think about that. He said, I'm setting my face like a stone, like rock, like a horse's hoof. My face has got to be hard because I know what I'm getting into here. I'm willingly doing it. On the Garden of Gethsemane, he starts sweating drops of blood. The Bible says an angel came and strengthened him. But Jesus says, I've got a mission, not my will, but your will. Father, strengthen me. The Bible says that angel strengthened him. Therefore, I've set my face like flint that I know that I will not be ashamed. And that, that's what that prayer is about in this passage. Lord, give me the strength. 
before I get the thorns on my head, the nails. I'm disgraced, embarrassed, made an open show, half naked, in front of the world to see. Today it would be all over YouTube, all over television. Jesus of Nazareth, they would be saying, this clown who died on a cross for no reason. He thinks he's the king. He thinks he's the savior of the world. This dude thinks he's going to save the sins and be a savior. This is no king. This is a joke. I'm going to teach you something about what happened on that resurrection day to that clown that they called Jesus. <laughs> the Bible says he went to hell, made an open man. I feel the Holy Ghost so strong coming on me. The Bible says if the devil would have known that Jesus was going to rise from the dead, he never would have crucified him. He went and paraded him around. And made an open show. You imagine the face, the look on the devil's face as he was getting paraded around. And Jesus rises from the dead. This they seal the stone. They just make sure you steal that stone. We do not. There's rumors he's going to rise. We want to make it like it's impossible. Now he talking to Mary the gardener. What? <laughs> Put that on YouTube. That resurrection. I want to see some resurrection power in this hour where people are dying or dead in dreams, in vision, in relationships, in health. I want to see some resurrection in finances. It's going to happen, Holly. We're in the midst of an absolute outpouring of the presence of the Lord that's cataclysmic. There's a harvest coming, friends. Brace yourself. Don't do not be distracted from your mission. In this hour, set your face like flint. Father, I'm praying for strength for people that they could set their face like flint, like granite, like rock, like a horse's hoof to fulfill their mission, to not be distracted in the name of Jesus. If you made it this far, sub to the channel. I'm live every Monday, prophesying, preaching, praying. The Lord bless you guys. Amen.